the modern DJ is an evolution of the broadcast radio personality. Um, it started in the just broadcasting on the radio, then adding music, and then wanting to bring that into like an inv- an event space where people would go and kind of do the live version of the radio. This started in 1943. Uh, one of the big DJs responsible, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's Jimmy Savile. And he launched the, the world's first DJ dance party, and it was a jazz type of party in England. So understand that this basically stemmed from the radio and came into the live event space. In the mid 60s was kind of like the birth of the nightclubs and discotheques. It grew the US, Europe, and that's when all the DJ specialized DJ equipment came into fruition. You have the mixers and the big box speakers and the American club DJ Francis Grasso popularized beat matching at New York Sanctuary nightclub. So at this point, DJs are getting the turntables. They're making special mixers that have faders for this specific beat matching skill, which is like the foundation. It's basically the transition between songs so people could not get distracted, keep dancing, keep having a good time and make kind of unify every song to make it like one big special mix. Then we go into the phase or not really the phase, the birth of Grandmaster Flash and the art of DJing as far as turntablism and He is the one, he's like the engineer or architect of basically the turntable. He tried to understand how the turntable worked down to even creating slip mats. He wanted to know how the needles uh, stayed within the groove. And and if you pulled, um, if you backspin the record, you know, how would that affect and which needles were better and all those little details. He had it down to a science, even even to be able to play the same records over and over, he has a math on how to do that. And you can research this, um, and it's pretty incredible how uh, he was definitely ahead of his time looking into this and and kind of like making this an art. So this was later perfected. The scratch was evolved and perfected by Grand Wizard Theodore in 1975. And he's the one that got Grandmaster Flash's, I guess, findings or or discovery and took it to the next level. 